One of our subscribers recently sent me an email and asked what to do. He asked specifically about the whole new putter that I use because it's zero loft on the face. But he asked what to do when you miss the green. Do you putt or do you something else? To putt or not to putt? That is the question. To putt or not to putt? That is the question. In this video, we're going to talk about options that you have when you miss the green. You can putt, you can do some other things. We're gonna talk about those and how to do it quickly. Before we do, here's a little tip from Renee out at Eagle Crest Golf Course on whether to putt or not to putt. Guys, I have seen you putt and I think you should just quit and have another beer instead. All right, so you hit a less than perfect approach shot and you miss the green. Now you're close, you're on the fringe. Do you use the putter or do, do you do something else? Well, I'm gonna give you lots of options on what you might do or what might wanna try. But before that, let me be absolutely clear. Don't do any of these unless and until you've practiced it and feel comfortable with it. If you don't, then use the putter every time. As Jack Nicklaus once said, your worst putt is gonna be closer to the hole than your worst chip. But on the other hand, if you've made some practice, there are a lot of things that you can do and they work out really well. Let's talk about the first one. You can bump and run. And you can bump and run with a seven iron, eight iron, nine iron, all the way down to your gap wedge or your pitching wedge. And all you do to bump and run is you put the ball in the middle of your stance, shift your weight so that about 70% of your weight is on your front leg, take the club back, drop it into the ball. Now don't be lazy. There's a difference in being relaxed and being lazy. Be relaxed and just drop it into the back of the ball. It'll carry about 20% of the distance and roll out about 80% of the distance it goes. So if you practice that a little bit, you can do what I do, which is I carry a little laminated card that I made up, keep it in my back pocket, pull it out, because that card tells me exactly how many steps the ball flies and how many steps the ball rolls when I bump and run with a wedge or a gap wedge or a seven iron or an eight iron or a nine iron. So I know exactly which club to hit and I'm making the same stroke every time very effective if you practice with that just a little bit. Now another thing that you can do is you can actually putt without a putter. Let's say you're off the green on the fringe and the grain is against you. The idea with anything off the green is you want to use a club that gets you onto the most predictable surface and rolling so that you know exactly what the ball is going to do, how it's going to perform. So let's say you're off in a little bit of fringe and the grain is against you and you're not sure how much that's going to slow down or the thick grass is going to eat up your putt. Well, then don't use your putter. You can take a seven iron or an eight iron or a nine iron and putt with it. Use your putting stance, make a putting stroke, and all that does is that club, if you make a putting stroke, has just enough loft to skim over the top of the grass, get on the surface, release, and roll out towards the hole. Mark Kalkovecchia is a tour pro who was extremely proficient at putting with his nine iron. He was very good at it, holed out a lot, got up and down a lot from the fringe. So that's something you can do, especially in those situations where you're kind of short-sighted and you don't want the ball to roll out like a bump and run. Try putting with a seven or eight, eight or nine iron. You practice that, your putting stroke, your putting setup, you'll be surprised at how close you can get the ball to the hole. Also, you know, let's say you're on a thing where you've, you need to get the ball up a little hill. Maybe like this situation here, I have a false front. But I don't want to use 
a lofted club like a wedge because this is a really bare difficult lie and the ball may i may blade it or chunk it and that's difficult seven eight or nine iron is going to hit into the side of the hill i need to get it up the hill without risking a very lofted club that's going to take it up in the air hmm what can i do pull out your rescue club or your hybrid i a lot of times use my 17 degree it's a four hybrid and i set up same stance similar grip i use an interlocking grip when i'm doing this versus the grip that i normally use for my putter but a putting style grip and i just put it with that and you'll notice this one i chunked it a little bit but it bounces through all that rough junk up the hill stops very close to the hole so i've got a simple tap in if i hadn't chunked it was on the right line it very well may have gone in so you can bump and run you can putt with a seven iron, an eight iron, a nine iron. You can putt with a hybrid or a five wood or a three wood. Those are options. Here's what you do. You go out and practice those just a little bit before each time that you play. And pretty soon over, you know, you practice 10 minutes before each round that you play, over a month or a month and a half, you have a huge arsenal of shots that you can hit when you miss the green. Speaking of missing the green, my friend Cassie, who's a beverage cart girl out at Chimera Golf Club in Henderson, Nevada, has some really good advice that will help you stop missing the green. Guys, if you weren't staring at me, you wouldn't have missed the green. <laughs> now always, of course, you can putt. In this situation, the green is with me. There's nothing to slow down the ball. I've got lots of room. It's a long putt with a big break. I just want to get it skimming across the top of this grass onto the green and rolling like a normal putt. And as you can see, that works out fairly well, about two and a half, three feet short. So I'm going to make that and save par. Try these tricks next time you miss the green. Practice them a little bit. Develop yourself a full arsenal of shots. You'll find that you get up and down more often, and that means you're taking fewer putts to finish your round. And making more putts is what this channel is all about. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, share. Comment below on any tips or tricks you've got for when you miss the green. So this one I'm going to pump, putt because it's barely on the fringe and the green has been aerated and it's as bumpy and unreliable as the fringe. Otherwise I might putt it with a 7 iron, but this time just straight putter. You don't want to putt out of that nasty spot. And you don't want to putt out of something like this ball is buried down in there and you've got all that unpredictable surface between you and the green. Here's another example where you really can't putt, but you can putt or do a little bump and run. Get it up out of that, out of this thick crap. Onto the edge of the green and you just want to be in this first three feet or so on the green just on that most reliable most predictable surface and then roll out to the hole as shakespeare famously said to putt or not to putt that is the question